So in the iPad, you'll notice on the bottom left-hand corner is the CFI Viewer app. Let's select it. It'll launch. And notice information from the Aspen box has been retrieved. All of these sliders are put into position. LCD display is on with information. We can move the, in the sliders. And you'll notice that uh, the gain value is coming from the Aspen box. Here's multi-touch in action, uh, which works really well. Standard mute button, phantom power. And now we can go to the other inputs, uh, 5 through 8. Notice the sliders jump right to the levels retrieved from the Aspen device. We can move sliders around, get real-time info. Once again, multi-touch, this time three sliders simultaneously. Okay, now the next section we want to look at. Let's go back. Notice the sliders jump again. All of the mute and uh, phantom power values are back. Let's go to matrix. And let's select input number one to out zone one. You'll notice that the routing takes place in the little picture on the side. And uh, now uh, input one to zone two. You'll notice that routing. Input two to zone one. So now we have a visual reference. We have auto direct override mode that we can uh, utilize. Now let's go to outputs. Here we have zone one and zone two. One's muted. We can move the slider to get real time feedback from the output. Unmute that particular zone. And let's go to the live mode now. In the live mode, we see the actual conference table. We can select a particular microphone and its gain value will be retrieved. If we select the second microphone, its gain value of negative 3 dB, you can see, is retrieved. And finally, another gain value of zero. All of them happen to be muted at this point. We can turn that off. Let's select the telephone for a teleconference. And you'll notice now that the dialer comes up. And we can click the little X, get rid of the dialer. And that's a very quick tutorial on uh, using the Aspen iPad interface. Now, here's how we would start with our input gain structure. Set all of the input gain values, mute, phantom power, phase invert, just the way you want them. Then move to the matrix setup. And here we do our routings, inputs to particular output zones, and we can see what's being routed. And then what we do next, finally, is we move over to the outputs. And here we can set the, the gain value of the outputs. Once the gain structure is completely set, then we can go into live mode. And in live mode, now we have control of all the attenuators and also the dialer. And this makes for a really robust interface. Now that the input gain, cross point gain, and output gain have been set up, live mode is turned over to the end user. They simply use rear panel gain, which are attenuators, and the dialer mode in a very visual interface by simply selecting microphones and telephones. They don't have to worry about the back end gain structure. Uh, this is open to any ideas you might have when you're designing.